Okay, next case. So here the line will keep parallel to VP and inclined to HP. So inclination means uh, <coughs> see I will maintain parallel. So when you see it will uh, become parallel and inclined to HP means I need to make inclination. When you make inclination here the angle will comes to the line. The inclination will be like this. See you can see the inclination. But it will remains parallel to VP and it will remain parallel to VP and the angle the line will become inclined. Then the how the view will be comes front view and top. As we know when we keep parallel in that side we will get the true length. No issues that whatever the length is there it will come. But coming to the top view see I first initially it will be having true length when you keep on inclining the length is keep on reduces that is known as apparent length. When we make inclination to any of uh, the uh, planes then when we keep on increasing the angle the true length will keep on reduces then it will become apparent length. But we don't know how much it will come later after doing the drawing we will come to know. Then one more thing we need to see when I am inclining the line so the change in angle change in angle where I can note see I am changing the angle so I can see the angle in front view means the line is inclined to HP when I am changing the angle see when you see it from the top you can't see the angle see I am making inclination can you able to see the angle change no no only line is keep on reducing its uh, distance can be seen but angle can't be seen so that's why when we change the angle with respect to HP the angle change in angle can be seen in vertical plane okay so that when uh, you can make a key point also with the inclination with respect to HP should be shown in VP. So that means change in angle with respect to HP can be uh, right or can be shown in VP. Same way next condition will come there that, that time I will also explain one more that is inclined to VP. Okay. Now how the front view and top view should be written here. Okay. Now the line is parallel to VP and this having inclination we can take an example of 40 degree then this will remains parallel to vertical plane and it should be become 40 degree to horizontal plane. See the true length will become from front view and angle can be seen in front view that's why we will start from the front view take a reference reference line the first point will be a dash because the point one point is fixed and second point is rotating how much 40 degree it is uh, lifting so measure 40 degree and what is the actual length of the line we will draw it and the angle is 40 degree and the dimension of this line true length okay and this other end is b dash that means the line is it will remain parallel that's why here in the front we will get the uh, true line and the change in angle with respect to HP can be measured in VP that's why I shown the angle 40 degree changing in here. Now based on this one we will get the top view we need to draw a <coughs> projection line through this A dash and B dash and This will be A and B. See the length is reduced because of inclination. I make inclination when you see it and it will come to a down, the change in length will be can be measured here. This is how the front view and top view looks when the line is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. In because of parallel to VP, in the front view we get the true length, 
but inclined to HP, that means their length will be reduced.